What is up, YouTube? What is going on today, guys? We are out here in Huntsville, Tennessee. As you can see behind me, got these gorgeous mountains. We got the stage over here. It's gonna be an epic show tonight. But before we get into shooting shows and doing all that fun stuff, I thought I'd go over speed ramping and DaVinci Resolve with you guys. And when I came from the Adobe Creative Cloud with Premiere Pro and After Effects, and then I came all the way over to DaVinci Resolve, finding out how to do nice, smooth speed ramps was something I struggled with at first. But I don't want you guys to have to struggle. So I'm gonna spend some time today going over how you guys get that nice, silky smooth speed ramping. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we are back here in DaVinci Resolve. And as you guys can see, I got my two clips down here in the timeline. I got a shot of these rocks, and then that is gonna push into a shot of my camera getting pushed through this tall grass. There's a couple different ways to speed ramp within DaVinci Resolve, and those two ways are the retime curve and the retime controls. And I'm gonna show you guys both of the ways you can do it, and I'm gonna show you the pros and cons to both ways, and I'll tell you what I prefer to do the most to get the smoothest and best looking speed ramps but first things first if you just right click on your clip you can come right up here and it says retime controls and if you guys have your keyboard preferences set up for it you can just hit control r but just click retime controls and what's going to pop up is the speed change these arrows and then there's going to be a hundred percent with a little drop down arrow there as well to start your speed ramping process what you want to do is come to the end of your clip come about two or three frames back you're gonna click on the drop down arrow, say add a speed point there. And now we're gonna come back to about right here and then we're gonna add another speed point. All right, now that we've got these two gray speed points added, we might need to zoom in a little bit on your timeline. But if you pull the speed points closer to each other, the faster your clip is gonna get. The further you pull your speed points apart, the slower your clip is gonna get. So it's a really fast process to getting the speed ramping done and done quickly and efficiently. And as you can see, it says down here that we sped up 950%. That's a little too much. We'll come at 630 and we'll pull this clip back just a little bit. And we'll come here and add that clip to the end. And this is what the speed ramp should look like. Right, and it just speeds up right into that clip. And that's really all that's to the retiming controls. I mean, it's pretty simple. All you got to do, like I said, is right click your, on your clip, hit retime controls, this stuff pops up, and all you do is hit the drop down button. There's all kinds of different options. You can freeze frame, which is pretty cool for some transitions that we'll get into later. There's a speed ramp up from zero and down from zero, and you can reset your clip. You can reverse and rewind. So there's a lot of different options within the retime controls, but for speed ramping itself, I don't feel that it is the best because when you add those speed points in there, there's no smoothness. It just quickly speeds up to whatever you have it done to and quickly slows back down. So I am going to show you what I think is the best way to speed ramp within DaVinci. And that would be the retime curve. So to get the retime curve up, you're going to right click and you're going to go right below where the retime controls are. It says retime curve. You're going to select that and you'll see here that I don't have enough room to see my curve. So you're just going to pull this down and possibly pull that up just a little bit so we can see what's going on. Now we're going to zoom in on our timeline. Right now it's on retime frame. You want to click this little drop down arrow and hit retime speed and you want to click back on it and click off a of retime frame. So now if you're coming from Premiere Pro or After Effects, this is going to act the same as time remapping within Premiere Pro. So all you're going to do is see where it says 300% is you're going to drag that up because we want to make it a little bit faster than 300%. And we're going to come back here where we want our clip to be sped up. We're going to come back a ways and right here is how you're going to add your keyframe and we want it to be sped up on this side of the frame. So we're gonna speed it up. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more on our clip. I'm gonna speed it all the way up to about 737%. I don't know why that number just seemed right to me. Now, as you can see, it's still a really 
harsh curve. There, it's not like smoothed out. So what you want to do is click on your keyframe right there, and you're going to come up to these two controls, and you're going to select the curve. And what this does is it eases in and eases out your speed ramp. Now, with that being said, you can adjust how big and small your curve is just by pulling on these little handles here. So I like it to be about right there, and this is what it'll look like. Just nice and smooth. So for speed ramping, I definitely like the retime curve better than the retime controls. I mean, you can. there's so much you can do with it now. Let's just redo it over here on this clip as well. So you're gonna right click, you're gonna go retime curve, we're gonna click off a retime frame, and we're gonna click on the retime speed, and that it's that simple. So we're gonna drag this up because we wanna go faster than 300%, and let's bring the speed of the clip up to about 750. We're gonna come over four frames, add our keyframe, and drop this back down to 100%. Let's do 106, that's good enough. We're gonna select our keyframe, and we're gonna hit that right there to curve out our speed ramp. I'm gonna pull this just to increase the smoothness, and this is what our completed speed ramp will look like. Just nice and smooth. That's really all that's to it, guys, for speed ramping. Like I said, you got the retime controls, and then we got the retime curve. You guys can use whatever works best for you and whatever works best for your workflow and your projects. Like I said, I personally like the retime curve because you can adjust the smoothness of the speed ramp coming in and coming out. Thank you guys again for always watching, and thank you guys for commenting so much and hitting that thumbs up like you always do. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys are subscribing because we're having more tutorials for DaVinci come out every single week. Make sure you guys are smashing that thumbs up button. Share this to all your friends who are video editors or just trying to get into video editing. Like I just appreciate you all for tuning in and following along and giving me your input. So thank you for that. And if there's anything you guys really want to see, make sure you guys are putting it in the comments below. So thank you guys again, and I'm going to catch you in the next one.